Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. You have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby. Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. to if you're here then you were part of a very special circle people she trusted and cared for I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside I know as well as you that it, it will never subside but I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about I'll miss worrying what you've about all you. been so grateful I'll miss our fights. Your I'll miss you. How she Holly. could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. Now you she will carried never a torch die for from the old ways, or lead a tedious life. Um, Goodbye, sweetheart. Thanks and most for of everything. All, it seems Vivian, how... 
Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. You she were a big, bright, shining star good in this shithole of a I town. I never met Lily. And I miss you already. What I've been told. Ran. I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie and say you'll check first? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Rain. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look. Holly, I know how this must No, feel. you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily. And... Making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? 
What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but 
Until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um ask you a question it's kind of personal and I don't want to offend you but after tonight it's on my mind sure it's just when stuff hits the fan like like it did tonight it feels like before we came to the city it feels kind of like home and I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending I guess it doesn't matter uh guys we have a problem what is it I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. 
We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that- Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. do any work only when Cole was around what is it it's the key to his room at the open arms you still haven't told me what was in there I want to know I need to know a lot of blood and flowers I keep thinking back I keep replaying moments in my head Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. 
Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Alright, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere the else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me, while the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Nah, no, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. 
I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> She's asleep. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. 
You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for the... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Funeral. It was just so fucked. 
tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just, he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Hey, did you know that the woodsman was sleeping with Lily? Like a, what, a, a customer? Yeah. Okay, is this really important right now? Uh, I guess not. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. This is worse than I thought. Shit. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place.
Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't owe them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. Just stay out of this. I have work to do. I'm just saying. Look. Just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... Is that what you think? Big B? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Maybe what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. And it doesn't matter if they're really good at hiding their shit, but they're involved all right, in all of this. Do you get it now? <sighs> I, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Wow. JD. A book. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using. Something. 
This doesn't really tell us much. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Butcher? What is this stuff? Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the Woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Anti-Greenleaf. A.G. This is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man, a skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? Sometimes. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? 
Not here. There's no one here but me. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh-huh. Where do you buy your clothes? At a... There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he you have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk, now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. 
You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Snow, it's too much. You can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Snow, do you really want to kill this tree for Fable Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at Crane for what he did? They stole my hair from my apartment, Big B. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. We're not burning the tree, Snow. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. going on and this whole thing will be over that's all please the ring won't work greenleaf sold you out what no this will work i assure you it, it must i, I wouldn't it, it, you mm. damn you come on please tell me who killed her my lips are sealed What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love.
Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because... Look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown. Of using our money for his own... Ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Well, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices, and you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had, and the town took everything it could out of me. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. <laughs> and I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! That's 
your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach in? Just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a tweedle's day. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. Jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> 